Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. After learning about most of the views and the view groups that we often use as Android developers, it's time to learn about one of the most important view group in Android, which is Recycler View. Recycler View allows us to display a scrollable view of sub views or a list of scrollable items. Nearly no application doesn't have a scrollable UI component to display items like posts, chats, or articles. Recycler view is considered as an efficient and more reliable option than other views, like list view or grid view, which are also used to display the same type of content. What makes the recycle view more efficient and, as the name suggests, it only inflates the necessary items within the list, items which are visible to the user or or which about to be visible to the user. So it only uses a finite number of placeholders to show the items to the user. And as the user scrolls, it recycles those placeholders to show new items from the list. Now, the steps to add or to include the recycler view within our app is to first create the list item or create a single item of the list. And it will simply determine how the rest of the list would look like. Then we are going to include the recycler view widget within our main activity. And finally, we are going to create the adapter to link everything together within our main activity. So let's do that. Here, let's create a new layout within the layout resource, new, new layout, and I'm going to call this list item. And here I'm thinking of creating list item, something like a card or something that fills the whole width of the parent with a picture and two texts. So let's add them within the palette. Here it's going to be text and another text and an image view. Let's choose this for now. Here for the image view is going to be attached to the start of the parent and the top of the image view to the top of the parent. And let's give it width and height around 50 dp. Okay, I think this could be enough. You could also play around with the values, it doesn't matter. And here, let's add some padding within the parent, around 16 dp as well. And here for the texts, one is gonna be attached to the end of the image view and to the top of the image view, and this one as well to the end of the image view and to the bottom of the image view and the top to the top of the text. Cool. Let's remove the margin start here and add some margin start, the same thing, but with 16 dp. Similarly for the other text. And let's give this some style. So it's gonna be text style, bold. And I think we are done. The last thing we need to do is we need to modify the IDs. So for the image, gonna give it list item IV or image view for short and this one is gonna be list underscore item underscore title and lastly this one list item underscore description so we are done with the list item now let's go to the main activity and add the recycler view within the main activity here we could do that by going to the ballot and here type recycler view put it here within the parent and you can see it just would you to show some lists or some items what we need to do is we need to set the width to match parent because this is going to be matching the parent and similarly for the height and here if you'd like to preview your list item within the recycler view you can do that by adding a list item attribute and add your list item from the layout and you can notice here the tools attribute only shows the list items during the design time now we have a problem with the list item and you can see that the list item or a single list item matches the whole layout or matches the whole screen and we don't need that we need each of the list items to only wrap the content for its height so the next item can simply get underneath this item within the list and now if you go back to the main activity you can notice the changes here and you can see list the rest of the items right here. So always when you are creating a list item, make the height of the list item parent or the layout of the parent to the wrap content. Great. Now let's go and create the adapter class. 
I'm gonna go and create a new class. Feel free to include it whatever within your code. Here I'm gonna call it my adapter. And here my adapter going to extend the recycler view adapter. Recycler view dot adapter class. Now for the adapter we have to specify the generic type for this adapter class. And the generic type should extend the view holder which comes from the recycler view. So we need to create an extra class that extends the view holder. Or rather, we could do that here within our class. So class my view holder extend recycler view dot view holder. And here I'm gonna create this class. Now the view holder constructor expects a view, so let's simply pass this view here from the my view holder constructor, and we can simply pass that here. Now we can specify this type, so my view holder or my adapter dot my view holder. Lastly, add the constructor, and now we are done with our adapter signature. So you can see here an error saying that we have to override the members or the functions. So let's do that. Here we have three functions within the my adapter. So what should we do here? The first thing, let's explore the onCreateViewHolder. So the onCreateViewHolder here is a function that is responsible of creating our ViewHolder class or creating an instance of our ViewHolder class. Now the ViewHolder class is responsible for holding the actual layout or inflating the actual layout of the list item within the recycler view. So here to create this class, we can simply create a new variable, call it a view. And here we have to use the layout inflator. So layout inflator dot from past context, you can use parent dot context and here call the inflate function. We have to pass the resource. So pass r dot layout dot the list item resource that we created. And here you have to pass a parent or a root, pass the parent parameter, and finally pass false for attach to root. Lastly, return a new instance of my view holder and pass this view to our view holder. And now to the get item count. For the get item count, it is used to return the count of the items that you want to show within your list. So currently we don't know the items within the list. So we can simply get these items here within the my adapter constructor. So we can pass it from outside of the class. So val items is going to be a list and I'm going to make it a list of a string for now. I'm going to change this later. And here we could return the items dot size. Now, lastly, for the on bind view holder function, and this function is used to bind the data or bind the information of our items within the list to the layout or to the actual view holder. So how we can do this? Let's think about our list item. So currently a single list item has three things or three attributes, two text and one image view. So we could simply create a class of this. So let's do here and create a data class that holds these information or these attributes of a single item. It's going to be called item. It's a data class here, val text or val title is of type string, val description is of type string, and lastly, val image. And this image is going to be of type integer since we are using the drawable resource. Now here, let's go to the adapter and change the string here or type of string to list of items. So here we can use each object from the items to bind the information. But before that, within our view holder here, we have to have reference to our views. So now we are going to use find view by ID function. And if you are willing to use the view binding, stick to the video. We are going to have it by the end of this video. So here I'm going to create three variables for each view within our list item. This is going to be title, title TV equal to title TV of type text to view and here description TV and lastly this is going to be image TV of type image view and here within the init function we're going to assign them title text to view equal to find view by ID and currently we cannot access the find view by ID since we are not within an activity or layout class 
So we can simply access the view dot find view by ID. And here we can pass the ID of the title r dot ID dot list item list item title and similarly for the description. So list item description and lastly for the image TV. Now, since we have these three fields within our view holder and within the own bind view holder here, we have argument of my view holder. We can simply access those three fields or those three views. And you can also notice the on bind view holder passes position and we could use this position to determine the position of the current item within the list. And we simply can use this position to get any item from our items and then bind the information from the items list to our views. So the first thing we need to do is to get the current item. So val current item equal to items, which is our list and here pass the position and then can simply pass the information from the current item to the view holder by calling holder dot title dot text equal to current item dot title. And similarly for a description, so let's do that here. It's gonna call, it's gonna be called holder dot description, uh, it's capital. So let's change it, should be D. And here I'm gonna be description text. And finally for the image view, it's a little bit different. It's gonna be holder dot image TV dot set image resource. Here you're gonna get that image from the current item dot image. And that's it. The last thing we need to do is to link everything together within our main activity. So here I'm going to create a new instance of my adapter. Adapter equal to adapter. And here we have to pass a list of items. So feel free to include any data here. I'm going to create a list of items with some dump data and I'm going to create that very quickly. So here's our list. It's just a very long list of the same repeated data. And let me just collapse it. And one thing to notice here is that the description is gonna be, it's gonna take more than one line. So what I want to do is to just include this description or make this description have a single line. So let's go here to the list item and change the max line attribute here to only one line. And here let's go back to the main activity. And I can notice we have one error because we have to include this class underneath the import statements. So let's put it here. And now we can simply pass those items to our adapter. Now we can get access to the recycler view with a binding, but we forgot to give an ID to the recycle view. So let's give that ID is going to be RV. Now here we can pass this adapter to our recycler view binding.rv.adapter equal to our adapter. And here we have to specify the layout manager. So what kind of layout we need to achieve within the recycler view, something like a linear layout manager, make a horizontal scrollable list or something like a grid or any other layouts. So what we need to achieve is just a simple linear layout manager, rv.layoutmanager equal to linear layout manager. And we can pass this as the context of the main activity. So I think that's it. Let's run to see the result. So you can see here, this is our list. You can see we have first item, second item, third item, and the information repeats. This is what I did within the items list here. And you can see here, it scrolls down. And you can also go back to the first of the list. Now, if you want to make each item within the list clickable, we can also do that within the adapter class. Here within the adapter, what I want to do is to add the binding. And we could do that here within our class. So instead of passing the view, we could simply pass the binding. Binding, and this binding is gonna be of type list item binding, which is our layout. And here, and instead of saying this or that, we actually don't need any of these because we have the binding now, only need to pass binding.root. And now let's go to the function which is responsible of creating our view holder, which is this function on create view holder. Here we have to inflate the binding. So we could do that by saying val binding equal to list item 
list item binding dot inflate. And here we have to pass layout inflator. So again, layout inflator dot from context. Context comes from parent dot context. And lastly, pass the parent group and pass false for the attached to root. And now instead of the view, you can simply pass the binding here to my view binding class and the binding class will pass the root or the view to the view holder of the recycler view. Last thing we need to change here within the on bind view holder function. So since we have the binding now from the holder, you can simply access the binding from our view holder. But currently we cannot do this since this is going to be private. So let's make it a val and now it's public and we can access it outside of the class. So holder dot this item image view dot set image resource pass the same image resource. And this is how we can get rid of find view by ID function within our adapter. And if you run the app, it's going to behave the same. Now, if you want to add a click listener to the whole view, you can do that within the my view holder. So how we can do this. So since you have access to the binding within the view holder, you can simply add the click listener here within my view holder. So I'm going to use the init function and here you're going to say binding dot any of the views. If you want to, if you want to add a click listener to a specific view, you can do that. But what we want to do is to add a click listener for the whole view. So let's say binding dot root dot sit on click listener. And here, whenever we click on this, we need to achieve something. Maybe this something is going to access the resources or do some network calls or open a new screen. Anyway, we have to hoist this or we have to move the responsibility of the click listener to outside of the adapter. So the simplest way to do that is by passing a callback within my adapter constructor. So here, I'm going to make this callback val on click as of type lambda function. It doesn't take anything within its arguments and it returns a unit. And then I can simply call this on click within the set on click listener. Now the problem is this argument now is not visible to us within this class because this is just a normal class within our class. And to make this an inner class, let's add the inner keyword. And now we can simply access the outer class arguments. And I think that's it. Let's go to the main activity. Here, my adapter, let's open the curly braces here for the callback. And whenever we click an item, what I want to do is I want to show a text message. Pass this as the activity. And for the message, you collect, you click on. And now let's pass some arguments from the adapter just to let the user know which items that they have clicked on. Here we could do that by giving binding dot list item title dot text. And let's say that this lambda function now takes a string and we passed that string here and we have to convert it to string. So here we received a string, so say a title and you clicked on, let's add this title here. Let's run to see how this works. Here you can see if you click on this, it says you clicked on Astro 1, click on that, click on Astro 2, click on any of these, and you can see here that it defies the user that he clicked on the corresponding item within the list. So that was it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.